All right, folks, this is the Ego 56 volt 16 inch chainsaw. All right, um, Ego sent this over. Not really sure why they sent this one. I believe they do have an 18 inch out now. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure. But this is their 16, and this is, like I said, big enough for anything any homeowner is going to do with it. All right, 16 inch, guys, 14 inch, 12 inch, 10 inch, okay? Um, obviously, with the 12, with the 14, you can probably put some different bars on them. You know, obviously, with the 12 inch, you probably just want to go up to the 14 inch, Um but with your 14-inch chainsaws, you can go up to a 16. And I'm sure with this one, you can put an 18-inch bar on this. Um, I'll have to take a look. But uh, Ego offers a lot of different chainsaws. Again, at one time, they were the number one power equipment company. All right, outdoor power equipment. And they were number one for, I don't know, probably a good seven, eight years. All right. Um, make great products, great reputation. And this 56-volt platform is you know, probably one of the most intensive and best made um, outdoor power equipment platforms out there. And you guys know about the battery. Again, what they did with this battery is absolutely amazing. Um, this is the five amp hour battery that comes with this kit. Now they have a two, a 2.5, a five, a 7.5. Oh, let me try to get this out. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Um, well, this doesn't have the power gauge on them. So this is an older battery, which I'm not too happy about, to be honest with you. June 2019. Hmm. Obviously, it's a dead battery, but um, these the new generation Ego batteries um, does have a fuel gauge on it, and it, it's it's reading on. It's green. You just can't see it because it's so dark. Well, I just saw it being green anyway. Yeah, there it is. All right. Um, so this 5 amp hour battery does not have it, but uh, some of the new generation batteries are going to have finally a uh, fuel gauge on it. That's what they really have needed to do for a while, and they finally addressed that. You got some really nice rubber over molds on here. It, you know, these are big batteries, guys. They're heavy. All right, but they're going to give you the runtime. And what Ego does, because as soon as I picked this chainsaw up, I was like, oh, my God. All right, really light. All right, but what they're doing is they're making up for the weight of the battery. All right, so they try to make the actual units, whether it's the blower, um, chainsaw, you know, whatever, uh, string trimmer. They're going to make that as light as they can because they know... They're going to have to attach one of the, these babies to it. So they don't want it to be. And that, that's the biggest issue with going to these bigger batteries, right? Now, I think it's Snow Joe. Snow Joe or, I don't know, they have like two different names. Grass Joe, whatever. They have a 100-volt uh, battery out now, all right? So it's all cool, right? You get all that power, but it's going to be a heavier tool, all right? So Ego, let me tell you, some of this Ego 56-volt stuff is actually lighter than some 18-volt stuff, okay? So Ego does a great job here. All right, let's see this thing in action. Uh, we're going to finish cutting down the rest of that cherry tree we started on and a couple lighter stuff, some Aphrodite's.
right guys cut that like it was butter baby um yeah that's a good six seven inch cut probably we'll, we'll probably we'll we'll measure it to make sure but six and a half seven inches um again guys like it was really nothing all right um you hear me say it all the time guys these lithium ion chainsaws are great alternatives to gas all right again no fumes no carburetor no oil mix you know gas oil mix um you don't got to pull a cord to get it going you just press a button and you're ready to rock All right, guys. Nothing common. It got a little stuck in there because um, a very big cut, as you can see. Really nice wood here, cherry wood. I might take a couple of slices with me. Let's carve this sucker up. little cherry wood here I mean, I'll let my daughter make a couple coasters with these really nice yeah nothing wrong with this Yeah, guys, so this thing cuts awesome. Um, you know, like it was nothing, guys. And what beautiful wood, guys. Again, this was cherry. Look at this. I'm probably going to keep this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might make a little... I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. But it's such a beautiful piece of wood. And I made a couple cuts here. Maybe I'll make a, this one's all right. This one's a little shady, but beautiful wood here, guys. All right, we're going to make some other cuts on 
some other uh, trees, shrubs, and what have you. I believe it's in Africa. champ it's a champ pretty nice guys all right all in all you know it's a very well balanced easy to use chainsaw i like it i recommend it. if you're an eagles platform um you'll love this saw guys i believe they have an 18 inch out um i'm not 100 percent sure but i think they do again you could probably put an 18 inch bar on this if you really wanted to um I like the Makita better, and I think I like the DeWalt uh, Flex Vault a little bit better, but um, it's about equal to the Milwaukee, all right? I, if I had to obviously choose, I would take the Milwaukee, but, you know, guys, you know, this is like an eight and a half, all right, an eight, It's a, it, it's a, in my opinion, you know? For what that's worth, guys. Everyone has an opinion, right? Um, but you got nothing to lose with this. Uh, definitely recommend it. Um, it's a great platform. Again, their lawnmowers are really second to none right now. Now, there's some new introductions. You know, the Craftsman um, is a great mower. We're probably going to see Milwaukee with a mower at some point. Um, that Makita mower, awesome, but a little expensive, right? But, um, you know... Great little saw, guys. Ego, 16-inch. Chainsaw, baby. Comments or questions, let me know. We'll catch you on the flip.